Aye. Born again. Maybe the breather ran across the road. Hopefully, he got freaking hit. If I hear the sirens follow up, I'll know there's been a death and a good one in this case. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to- Welcome to the game to- We're back one more time, and I can't believe it! I can't believe it! In this episode, I'm sure we're gonna learn something new, guys. However, I wonder who'll be getting us this time. It may be the Noir, or no, wait, it may be also the Police, or how about the Hitman? Or better yet, how about the Breather? <laughs> but extra. Just a bit. Welcome back, however, guys, to Welcome to the Game 2. So I'm not even gonna say anything, just on screen right now, you guys are the best. I'm serious. We are literally hitting 20,000 likes on every single episode of this game, which is so much more than what I could have ever imagined. So again, like, thank you guys for making this series, I guess, as fun as it could be. I'm gonna be honest though, guys, I'm slowly going insane up in here, okay? Before we get into this episode though, guys, I'm actually gonna show you something on my camera right here because I have the most of <laughs> I'm like laughing just trying to like think about this. I literally have like a hack and set up for this game. Like, I'm gonna video on this thing and show you. So as you guys can see, like this is me when I play the game. But I got this second monitor here. Hi. Now I'll explain what this is. There is an amazing guide at the moment which lists all of the websites open and then even the websites open at certain hours. And then it goes on to show like the ones that are never freaking available. I got this notepad off screen so I'm gonna be making notes. And then I'm recording the game and then you can hear me freaking screaming. <laughs> Alright then guys, so we are now finally inside of the game. Now there's a reason why I've actually hopped into a continued game as opposed to a new one. I was talking again to Risk Grim, like, honestly, just clap for this guy, he's a freaking genius. I was watching his stream yesterday, and there is a sweet spot. I mean, Bruh. look how much money this VPN generates. If we sit here and watch the number tick over one more time, wait for it, it is big dollar. Seriously, guys. Laugh into the bank like... Ah. It is generating us 4.384 DOS coins, I think every 108 seconds. Now, apparently, there's always at least one sweet spot in every single Let's Play you do for the VPN. I encourage you guys to pick up the first one and put it on many floors, because you can get usually like 1.5 and that's good. This though is a game changer because you get so much money from this. All right, standardized stats this anyway though. We're gonna start scanning for some of the networks. It's uh, 23 minutes past 10 and uh, there's another reason why I'm keeping this one here. Let's go ahead and probe D59. We're gonna try and find that one. So you guys can see I've opened up the cleaning services because I've been practicing this game as much as I can off camera. Adam asked me not to do the scum save thing which kind of sucks because I don't honestly know if I'm ever gonna beat this. Before I explain, let me just finish up with this one. So 687 is the port. That's now going to crack that one. If we head over, guys, to the source code for this website, instantaneously, if you scroll down, I found that this one had a link to Anne, and this is the Deep Web Wiki 2. I've got that sweet spot with the VPN, and also find like the Deep Web Wiki 2 straight away in this run. This one's got to be a keeper, and it's got to be the one where I at least try and find more than one code. I'm just going to enter now, guys, the Wiki 2, and I'm going to bookmark this thing for ease of access. And again, like I know the YouTube thing's there, but I can't risk it. I just want that good run. We're going to go and head, though, guys, back to the Wiki 1. I kind of want to start there and then work my way through, and and to be honest, I should think about moving the dongle soonish. In fact, let's go ahead and do it now before we forget. I'll put this one over by the window, and that can stay there just for now at least. Did I lock my door? No! I didn't lock my freaking door. What the heck is wrong with me? It's almost like I want to die, isn't it? I can assure you guys, I don't. Actually, I'm going to put this outside because this gives you the two bash signal out there. So uh, it's pretty good. I guess the trade-off with the one near the window is that you've got two networks to switch between actively. Free Wi-Fi, no virus sounds good. And I mean, I'm sure the freaking name is true. I'll pop the notes on screen as well, guys, so you can see actively what's going on as we're doing this because it'd kind of be annoying to keep turning it off. Or rather, I know I've got the codes, but you guys can't kind of see it. So, you know, you can see the evolving state of this. So uh, let's keep this going. And by the way, 20 already of the DOS coins. That is nuts. Hello? Uh, honky for me? Or was that like you dropping off the killer? Either way, I'm not too happy about that. So we could get the Skybreak WPA. This will allow, I guess, like another layer of hacks to begin with the networks. Maybe we can look into that one, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I need to just yet. I'm more interested in maybe getting another VPN or starting to get like the motion alert thing down. Uh? The freak was that? That did not sound good. That sounded like sniffing almost. Like that was the strangest sound I've ever heard. No one's at the door. I don't feel like I should open that. Nothing to gain from it. So we're going to pretend again that was nothing. Even though I'm next to certain that was definitely something. So supposedly 57, this website is open between half past and then 45. So you've got a 15 minute window. Why not try and make the most of this situation and get inside here? And look at this. It does actually work. Okay, let's check the source code here. You can see how barren this site is. So we can quickly establish that. Unfortunately, there's nothing on this one. So I mean, freaking useless. Come on. Check out Order of Nine, a Satanism workshop site. 
right, so already I shouldn't really be entering this, but you know, we gotta try and find these codes somewhere or another. Loads of different images here, and I've just realized there's a dude attached to that cross, so goodness me. Hey, friendo, you holding any codes in those horns, maybe? How about in those black eye sockets of yours? No? Okay, you keep scanning through this. I'm trying to work on, like, my ability to dart through code, and uh, I want to, like, skim read this as fast as I can. Maybe there'll be a code scattered amongst, like, the long series of text. I couldn't imagine doing, like, literally like this, you know, all the way through this. Yeah, here I am, doing it right now. Let's run through the source code quickly with this one. Uh, not immediately seeing anything pop out. As said before, the codes are kind of obvious. No codes, guys, but let's just see what this cult thing is all about. Many believe Satanism is evil, and only those who wish to harm others worship the devil. However, it is widely misunderstood. Many Satanists practice beliefs that align with others' moral values, and that Satanism is about a living life while a not that Satan is an actual being to worship. There's a wide spectrum of Satanic worship just the same as other religions, and yep, skip doing this. What about if I click join us? I know they're gonna think like, oh, we've got another guest! But no, I just want that code. If you want me to join your cult, give me some of that offering, okay? Just to begin, show me how good this cult really is. And what do you know, guys? Not a single code in sight. Horn again. Not for me, I hope. Maybe the breather ran across the road. Hopefully, he got freaking hit. If I hear the sirens follow up, I'll know there's been a death and a good one in this case. I'm gonna disconnect my Wi-Fi, you know, guys. I don't feel like this is wise to keep using this one. So let's try and swap this up. Oh! How? I swapped the network, it was nine freaking minutes. No, it was about 11 minutes. That is total BS. I'm sorry, that is like complete and utter BS. I had this feeling inside that for some reason, something was gonna go wrong. <sighs> All right, I'm about to get salty. I gotta hold it together. Let's just go into a freaking new game already. Come on. All that prep. Finding that sweet spot with that VPN just to get boosted down by the police. Why? Yes, found that sweet spot again. Woo, didn't think I was gonna for a second there, and it's only taken me 20 minutes of in-game freaking time. So I don't exactly understand why I died so quick in the last run. That made absolutely no sense, like why the police for some reason were tracking me even though I was swapping networks super quick. So I'm gonna call that one a random dud, and if it happens again, I really don't have any clue about what's going on with this game, because I thought I had the police figured out. Fresh list of websites, fresh list of codes. We may not see them, guys, but we know they're there somewhere. So I guess we better get started, and I guess hope for the best, literally. I'm gonna try and get rid of the websites which I know are like the most annoying and short. Yeah, be quiet. So we've got these simplistic websites here that I guess we can like skimmy through. Let's check the source code for this one quickly. And other than that right there, this website is pointless. Wait, wait, hold on. What? What does that statement even mean? I know that the rock collection is always open. This website is a very, very strange one. If you guys are thinking it's gonna be something crazy, no, it's literally a list of rocks and I'm serious. So we're gonna skim through these and I guess there may be at least one clickable uh, somewhere in here. I'm looking. Okay, scan back up these. I've only only ever found one single code on like a clickable website. I don't want to say it makes the game boring, but it kind of does because like this game is so fascinating. I'm just trash at finding the codes. Looking through the source code for this one. Let's try and skim this bottom part here and see if anything stands out of which it doesn't. There you go. Woo, 14 DOS coins for that hack block. Nice. So we're up to 29 and it's 1030. So this run, I guess, is pretty good. Now it's just a case literally of finding where the codes are at, you know? Let's try the order of nine again. We've just been on this one. Hopefully it'll have some more luck. And we've also got this down here, guys, a new password. <gasps> guys, I can't believe it. Finally, it's been like an hour of playing almost and we've got... <gasps> No code again. I know who would have thought. I'm telling you guys though, when you find that hotspot, I'm on 36 DOS coins at 1035. That's a lot. So much so I can nearly purchase like the sky. Well, I can actually afford that. Upgrade Skybreak with this library to crack WPA networks. I've never heard of a WPA network before, so that might be interesting. VPN level one reduce the chance of getting hacked. I mean, I'm kind of confident with the hacks at the minute, so uh, I feel like maybe I want to get hacked to get those extra DOS coins. I wish I could afford that though, you know? Things like the Wi-Fi dongle though. This feels like for later a game. I really don't know how you're expected to get stuff like that so early on. I don't think you can. There's like no physical way. <laughs> Goodbye. 58! That's exactly... Dude, I got a hundred. I've been silently concentrating. I was hoping I would get a big break with the VPN. We are up to a hundred and two VPN. I could get the motion sensor right now alongside the hearing thing. And I think that will also alert me if the police are nearby. So that is really really premium. I'm in a good spot for this run so far. Now it's just finding those freaking codes. See, the thing about the runs, guys, where you're actually trying to make progress 
is that there's a lot more silent points. And it's, it's a shame, I guess, because like, I can't keep talking the way I do for some of the episodes. you got to focus so much on, I guess, grinding. Or I guess I can do a mixture of both, but I'll probably have to reduce the cutting. I'm recording for longer and longer each episode. So inevitably, more footage to go through longer to, you know, edit and then the kind of... Oh, okay, we're centering that. I'm kind of feeling like I want to try out this Skybreak WPA. I'm going to buy this, you know. We've got... Look, I've still got 81 DOS coins. We've got a lot to play with here. I just moved... Wait, 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 I didn't get my torch. Oh, heck no. <laughs> oh, no. So the key to this, guys, is to find, first of all, where the windows are. Then I think if you walk sideways, your desk is, like, here in front of you somewhere. Yeah, this ain't gonna work out whatsoever. And I lost my big hack. Okay, get in that flashlight, guys. Let it be a sentiment. If you haven't got your flashlight, you're gonna lose a lot of DOS coins because of something like that. That was so easily preventable, and that was my own fault. But, you know, you live and you learn. Now, hopefully in the same run, I'll get the same hack and, like, the same DOS coin from it. Wait, hold up, but the WPA is there. Now, I purchased that after I got the big payoff with the money. So, hold up, what's going on here? It's like it counted the purchase in this same save, but... Because I maybe went back in time, it almost gave me my DOS coins back. I'm gonna disconnect from this, so the WPA. Now, I'm aware this thing works a little bit differently. Wait, you don't have- it just says right there I've got it. So it seems like the game save is bug because it remembers me buying it, but I don't actually technically have it. Hey, yeah, I was gonna exploit the freak out of that. <laughs> freak, are you doing leaving this in the footage? Hack me! Please! I can't believe I'm begging for this, but please give me some of them DOS coins again! Hang on, guys, whilst I was checking this Mortal Masks out, I gotta read this how I do it section. This is weird. Making a mask like Megan here is rather easy. Removal can take anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes. I rinse the mask in bleaching mixture followed by alcohol. Afterwards, I place the mask on its stand to let the alcohol evaporate, which dries the mask, removing any leftover oils, making it easier to work on. Ensuring long-lasting quality is important to me. He's talking about human skin. Like, let's remember this whole thing here. So I spend several hours applying various preservation mixtures and treatments to keep the mask as lively as possible while still durable. I then dispose of everything while the mask cures. Right there. Yes, the Deep Web Wiki 2. Let's go. Woo! Almost as rewarding as finding a code. Okay, so we know where that one is. Yes! Okay, here comes that hack. Please give me big money again. Seriously. Okay, Memdefragger. Y, Y, T, Y, T, Q. First one done. Q, G, P, F. Q, G, P, F. There you go. Give me that big money. Come on. Sit. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry. I'm not sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. Okay, guys, I may be a bit broken, but come on right now. <gasps> oh, come on! I thought that was a freaking clickable! <laughs> I've been playing for an hour and I've not found a seat. Baby, 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 baby. What the freak is this? Okay, let me just uh, check through this. Baby, baby, baby. It's not got nothing. Alright then guys, it is now the next day. Apparently I couldn't get any progress yesterday, clearly. However, we're gonna continue on for this video. Now a few goals I've set because things have changed up. I was speaking to my friend Bazamalam and honestly he's given me some of the best <laughs> tips for this game of which I'm gonna show you. And secondly, the guy is so close to 100,000 subscribers and basically guys, he's the whole reason I'm even doing YouTube. So I gotta plug this in here. He seems to be doing really well with the difficult games. He's beat Welcome to the Game already. So like you can check out his content for that. And he also does like tips on it. He's also not a bad YouTuber. So first thing I'm going to start by doing is actually hacking a few more networks than before because I'm not doing that enough and I think that's the sole reason the police are getting me all the time. About every six minutes is how often I want to be swapping. So let's get this going. Al, 500 to 1,000 and give you that good stuff. Managed to find the port fairly quick. So I think what I'm going to try and prioritize for this episode is actually learning how to hack the WPA and maybe the WPA too if we get that far. That's what is peekaboo. A bit of a mess with the notes, but I think you get where this is going, okay? You know what? Just whilst I'm here, I'm going to probe the other networks. We've got two different sources because then that means we don't have to move this thing around as much and we can spend more time in the same spot just switching networks standardized check for the noir and they're not peeking through my window so things are going pretty good this morning <laughs> about those eight codes password is 1985 so we've got two networks we can connect to so we're going to straight away use these two i'm going to start with the weaker one this password is 1985 i'm making a more conscious effort this time guys to uh, really switch up the networks more re Wait, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. I think now I'm hearing things, but let me just be safe. I have not been connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, no one's there. Let me just double check through the peephole. Don't think. No, no Hitman, so we're all good. Because if the Hitman's there, he's about to make me hit light. Bruh. No, no. Okay, guys, so check this out, all right? I've got two backdoor hacks. Now, I know Black Market is always a place that is never open. Supposedly, if you continually refresh on these pages, you can get hacked more often and make a shed ton of DOS coin. Hey. Okay. 
Now that right there is either someone scraping their feet or they're being a dingus by the door, you know? That was breathing, definitely. But why? There's no one by the doors? Let me just check through the window. Aye. Or rather the peephole. What the freak? Who was the- I've Hello? never- Right by that window. All right. Okay, we're gonna stay here. He's thinking this is like a McDonald's drive through like, no, okay? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so we're gonna stare at this door and wait 30 seconds and then he's gone. So I wonder then if that's the sound of the Noir because I'd have thought of anything that would be linked to the breather. Fortunately, no one gave this guy the key card to access this place. So we don't have to worry about him. Simply these guys and that's about it. I don't really mind the Noir. They're a fairly easy counter. Probably been about 20 seconds. I always wait about 40 just to be extra safe. And let me just check and he's gone. And if I don't start locking this freaking door, why am I forgetting to do that every time? This is seriously going to be my downfall at this rate. We're going to swap network as well. So this one was peekaboo, I believe, for the password. And uh, then we're going to get going again. There you go, you see? This is on the off chance with the web page thing, guys. You get hacked so often. So I'm going to concentrate and get this hack done. J. Yes, there you go. And that gave me 34 DOS straight up, okay? That is the secret, guys, to getting the DOS coin as time goes on. I'm up 100 right now. I'm gonna pick myself up then this WPA straight away, not even thinking about it. We uh, could upgrade actually to the sky break. Maybe that's the thing we should think about doing. Or we could also get like the trip thing, you know, to know when the hitman's coming. Okay, we've got the WPA. So let me totally, I'm just gonna disconnect straight up from this. We're gonna put this on the computer desk. So understanding the WPA is uh, certainly key to progression. It's why it's a thing. WPA. And uh, then I think we have to scan for networks just as usual. But the next part is where things change up just a bit. So we have these three networks here. We've got uh, DA whatever, Khalid, and Yuapi. So this one here has a three bar, okay? Day chicks, I guess that one's called. That's like a dating thing or something, right? Freak out is going on in this hotel, huh? What you have to do, guys, I think is type inject or something. Let me just type help a second. So this is the key thing we have to do here. So we use inject, BSSID, the channel, and the number. Used to set a wireless device into deauthorization mode for WP. A key thing to remember, guys, you can hack networks as well whilst you're not even connected to anything. So, like, you can't stop the freaking power. You know? Get the freak back on. Let's do this. You may be noticing, guys, I'm not concentrating on the uh, codes at the minute because with this, like, exploit where you get hacked all the time, you can get a lot of DOS, then, like, get the key queue, and that makes things so much easier. If you focus on getting, like, a good network and stuff like that, the rest just kind of folds into place. Okay, the channel is, uh, I think, four. What we need to do is not add too much of the injections because it can actually, like, shut down a network. Let's try 50 for this one. So that's done, and I think we do the same thing over and over again. Wait, too many injection requests? Uh, what? It worked last time. So why did it work the first time and then not not the, the second? Like, I'm, uh, this game agitates me sometimes, dude. Okay, well, we're going to try another one then. Screw it. I'm going to go straight to the WPA2. I mean, what's the point in waiting? If we keep getting messed over like this, I'm just going to see what they have to do for the WPA2. Nearly done installing, and there you go. We're going to straight away disconnect, so let's check this whole thing out. I hear a noise. I'm not connected to the internet, so if the cops burst down that door, they're trolling right now. Just double check through here. Yep, no hitman. You know, you can see his freaking bald head. I don't understand this injection thing. How are you supposed to know the right amount? That's totally RNG and luck based. Unless I'm maybe misunderstanding it. All right, we're gonna try and inject this one. I don't know how you know when to stop. What is the hint with this? I don't understand. What was that noise? Keep hearing noises, it's making me really paranoid. I'm really, really skeptical about the door still being bashed down, even though I know the cops can't like track me. This time, injecting 78, I just watched a video, someone does this. So what is the issue? The fact that I may be spamming this too quickly? Okay, we're gonna try it with another network. I'm gonna go 78, so itch. I'm not doing this. This is literally a waste of time. Whilst I actually don't understand the process of the WPA2, it's a thing we know how to get. So we're gonna remember that as a more key point. As time goes on, maybe for like the next episode, I'll learn how to use that in between. The only thing I really want to do right now, guys, is go to the Deep Web Wiki 2. I want to try and practice a certain website. I think it's called, like, Rule of Three. If we can get this down, we can get access to also the third Deep Web Wiki, and then it's just a case of exploring the pages. The Rule of Three. Thought process behind the Rule of Three. This is always open, okay? It has to be, because you have to try and get access to the Deep Web Wiki 3. This is almost like the Chosen Awake from the first game. So, uh, here we go, guys. I was messing around last time on this. I was getting something stringing together, but not a freaking enough. Now, a cool thing I saw someone doing, all right, was almost learning the things, and then they would type, like, three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's for the top one. Then this one here also has some, so... Okay, that's the first one. Oh, that's not the second one. One, two, three. Okay, then we type after one, two, three. That gives us the process of then knowing what to do next. Central. Okay, I see this. Hold up. That was a strange noise. 
I'm not liking that at all. Hold on, let me copy this. I'm gonna post this in my notes for now. I'm disconnected from Wi-Fi. I heard a door open. That was like a door, maybe downstairs? Nothing through the peephole still. What was that sound? That wasn't reassuring, so I think I'm gonna switch networks again. My fucking power's gone, dude. No way. Ah, this is so frustrating. We gotta go. Please don't be anywhere noir. All right, looking good so far. Kinda. As I run down a hallway in the pitch black. I think I'm probably the first man to say this looks kinda good running down a darkened hallway as his power cuts for the second time in like an hour. Yeah, this really isn't good, is it? Darth Vader's nearby. Oh boy, the breathing. What the heck? What is causing it? There's no one at the window, no one at the door. Woo, that was some weird breathing though. Almost sounds like breathing coming through a mask, you know? Which would probably make the most sense in this scenario, do you know what I'm saying? Hey, Noir, how about you go and bug someone else for a change? I think I'm immediately- This is why you don't talk in this game! There you go! 22 DOS coins again. Good freaking stuff. 100 freaking DOS. Wait, wait, wait. It randomizes every single time you're on the site. So if I refresh, I gotta start again. My goodness me. Okay, so we've got three, two, one, then two, three, one. Oh my god, if I switch network, it refreshes the- oh. Why does it have to refresh the puzzle? Well, it's not really a puzzle. Wait, there's that breathing again. Hold up, let me disconnect, let me disconnect. Stand up. Okay. Why do I keep hearing breathing and then there's nothing? Nothing else- what? What is going on, man? I feel like I'm being trolled. Thing is, guys, you gotta be quick. Because anyone can get you at any point. So it's three, maybe one. For God's sake. Oh, two, one, three. Two, one, three again. Then we've got three, two, one. One, two, three. And then three, two, one. So maybe three, two, one again. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we freaking go. Woo. There's that deep web wacky three. I said wacky three. Don't correct me on that one. Straight away. I'm disconnecting my Wi Fi, though, guys. I don't trust this at all. It's going to go by the window just for now. 17 more DOS coins for that hack block. We're 140, man. Like, what? I think when I get to 160, I'm gonna buy the Wi-Fi version 2 or, like, the level 2. May as well. Like, I don't know. I just wanna see what the different things do. I'm not gonna beat it this run. I found no codes and it's... Wait, what? That's the code for the Deep Web Wiki. What the heck? There you freaking go. Yes! We've made three different stages, man. Okay, bookmark that. We are getting through this thing, though. That's all I'm saying. Like, we are progressing. And first of all, was that like a thump? Got the network for now. Let's play it safe. So I'm gonna try and get hacked again. I actually need a back door right now. And uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get this uh, Wi-Fi 2 thing or even survive the breather. Let's start there. Basically, guys, once you're connected to the internet, you just simply refresh the page. Uh, I did see someone do it a different method. They, like, shrunk this down. What they did was they refreshed it, then, like, reconnected or something and went like this. It did work! Holy crap, that's a good method to get hacked more frequently. Come on, 46 DOS, that's a brilliant solution. Or result even. We could get the police scanner, we can actually afford it, okay? This is good, we're getting a lot of DOS coins. I'm gonna buy the Wi-Fi dongle level two. I'm not even worried, to be honest, about the, uh, like, what do you call him, the freaking hitman. Yeah, he's probably gonna get me, guys, I'm being honest. It's just one of them things. Right, disconnected from the Wi-Fi again, I'm not gonna be reconnecting for a while. I wanna get this level two thing, just to see what it's all about. I'm gonna prep this, you know, I'm gonna actually move the Wi-Fi dongle over to the other side of the room. That seems like a good idea. Idea. Okay, let's go ahead and do this then. We're gonna have to be very careful for the noir and uh, I don't know if we can encounter, for example, the uh, gunman en route or if there's like a counter. Let's just get the freak out of here, man. I'm playing every corner. The power literally just shot off behind my back. There we go. So that's done and we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Kind of scared right now. We know the breather is down there, so I'm gonna take my sweet time walking nice and slow. You know, this may be my final walk. For all I know, I'm walking basically to an execution. Let's get that, man. Let's just run for this. I'm scared, guys. I really am kind of terrified. So my strat I'm gonna use is completely run for this thing straight away. Don't even think, okay? Close the door behind you, and then we're just gonna peek over the side here. And if we see him, you have to brace the door, I think. No, don't go back outside. Close it. Freak, come on. So I think we... Yep, so all we have to do is click and hold on the handle. That's not too bad. Um, I think the visual cue is that the door starts to move a little bit if we see him. But we gotta wait for our parcel drop anyway. I haven't seen it come yet. Drone has just flown past. I'm gonna start counting from now. Because if you think about it, the breather would hear the drone come in. So then maybe he'd be alerted to the alleyway. I don't know what sort of visual cue is. I think maybe the all that rain that's written on like the brick is to say he's maybe active, he's patrolling or something. Maybe it's just some thug that got stabbed before us, you know? I've timed three minutes, guys, since my drop. So I'm gonna go and click- WHAT?! I TIMED THREE MINUTES?! WHAT THE HECK?! WHAT IS WITH THIS GAME?! MAN! 
I waited for three minutes. I'm not even joking, and that's not including before the drop. How how long does this game expect you to have to invest to get stuff going? Ah, oh, it's like. It's so annoying because, like, that's not a game mechanic, man. It's part RNG and it always will be, which kind of breaks the game for me. Wait, hold up. Why does it give me the option to uh, continue? Hold up. Let me just check this. Wait, wait, wait. Have I got, like, the perfect save right now? So it's starting me at the beginning, but I got 50 DOS coins. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, hold up. What? All, all right. I mean, it's not giving me any introductions and stuff. I, I think... What the heck's going on? Well, there we go, guys. That is going to be the end of Welcome to the Game Part 4. I didn't look for codes for this episode at all because it's honestly like it's a lost goal if I'm trying to do that. I don't get the breather whatsoever. That makes no sense. Like, I waited for so long. I think combined the time was five and a half minutes. There was no sound cues. I heard nothing to signify he was even in the alley. Somehow he still gets you getting the package. And like, so what? Do we not hide in there? I'm going to sit off camera, guys. I'm going to try and learn, I guess, what's happening or get some tips from someone. I said before, Adam does not want me to do like the checkpoint thing, even though it literally is my only way to win this. I think personally, this should be like an easy mode where you can get this checkpoint every hour thing. And I don't know, like you will definitely get the bad ending with nothing revealed. I mean, that would personally give me the incentive to then try it without the checkpoints. I'm I'm not a games developer though, so I mean, it's Adam's call. If you guys did enjoy this video nonetheless though, and are excited for the next episode, why not drop me that like button? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe also for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one. I'm freaking disappointed in myself.